In this video, we are showing you how Mammut is moving the world's largest haul truck down public roads and over the Athabasca River north to Suncor's Fort Hills mine. Stay tuned to learn about why they're moving this haul truck, how they're moving it, and where it's going. In the Canadian oil sands, buying haul trucks in large batches is all too normal. In March of 2024, Suncor announced an order of 55 new Komatsu 980 haul trucks, 23 of which were allocated to the Fort Hills operations, while the remaining trucks were allocated to their base plant operations. This isn't the first time these haul trucks have been moved fully assembled. Back in 2015, Mumuit set the standard for heavy haul, moving 16 CAT 797 to Imperial's curl operation and six CAT 797 fully assembled to Syncrude's Aurora mine. Here's footage of when they moved a CAT 797 fully assembled to Imperial's curl operation. Not to be outdone, in 2025 they are back at it moving a fully assembled Komatsu 980E-5. The Komatsu 980 was built by SMS equipment at their yard just north of Fort McMurray, adjacent to Suncor's base plant mine. The haul truck begins its journey here at SMS equipment, heads north on Highway 63, crossing the Bridge to Nowhere, aka the Peter Lougheed Bridge heading north again to Suncor's Fort Hills mine, which one way is an 87 kilometer journey. A few specs on the Komatsu 980E-5. The haul truck itself weighs 584,500 pounds empty and can carry a 400 US ton payload with a top speed of 40 miles an hour. This is what you call an ultra class haul truck based on its payload capacity. The truck measures 51.5 feet long 31.3 feet wide and 26.2 feet tall. It is powered by a 3500 horsepower tier 4 final diesel engine. So this right here folks is how we do heavy haul in Alberta. This is Mumuit hauling a Komatsu 980E from SMS equipment just by Suncor all the way up to Suncor's Fort Hills mine. They haul them fully assembled so that when SMS builds them here they can haul them straight to site and they can go right to work. Mamuit is using their Scheuerle four-file trailer. It has 352 tires and is in a 22-line configuration. So a four-file is when they bolt together four different modular transporters to be able to support that truck. It's actually really interesting how they get that truck up on the trailers. They use a very complex jacking system that raises it up and then they'll back the trailer under and then lower it down and then they haul the truck north. But Last time this happened, it was Cat 797Bs, and uh, shout out to my good buddy Scott there, who uh, used to haul these back in the day, but it's been a long time since we put fully dressed haul trucks on a trailer, and uh, here we are doing it again. Here's the truck crossing the Peter Lohe Bridge, aka the Bridge to Nowhere. On this move, the lead truck is a Kenworth pulling up front, trailing behind, shoving from the rear, and adding their extra horsepower are two Western Star trucks.
right there, folks, is how we do heavy haul in Alberta. My 2980, on my Mood's four file trailer, two pressure trucks, one pull truck, right down Highway 63, headed to Fort Hills. That's how we do it here in Alberta, folks. While Mamut's catchphrase is the biggest thing we move is time, I'd argue the biggest thing they move is a fully dressed Komatsu 980E over the Athabasca River. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some insight into how they move these haul trucks. Again, we apologize we couldn't document the full process. We did reach out to Mamut and they declined to be part of the video production. However, there will be a video coming out on our channel soon that shows the full process of both jacking up and moving these trucks with another customer. So stay tuned for that.